So we're now going to look at the, um, the shake hands, give paw exercise. So some of your dogs may already know how to do this. Um, some of you, it will be new to them. I'm going to show you with Cassie, who loves giving paw already. Um, what we're looking for when you start the give paw exercise um, is to focus on one paw at a time. So don't try and do all the feet each, you know, each time you try practicing. Focus on one and do this for the next few sessions. That will help your dogs to learn. You want to start off with your dogs in a comfortable position. So for most dogs, hello, that will be in a sit, but they can do this from standing or laying down if they're happy to do that. Let's see, good girl. Start by touching their shoulder, run your hand down the leg, <laughs> not itching that, and then lifting up the foot. And then as you lift up the foot, only a short amount, get your treat in, click if you're using a clicker, use your cue word, use your yes word, and then give your dogs that praise and fuss for having done it. Cassie knows paw quite well, so she's going to offer this a lot. But you're starting with the shoulder rather than just grabbing the paw. So if you just grab for the paw first of all, then let, oh, stop it there. If you just grab for the paw, then your dog is likely to sort of look to see what's happening. They might snatch their foot away because you're taking them by surprise. So by starting with the shoulder and running your hand down the leg towards the paw, it's not a surprise for your dogs. They learn to trust what you're doing, and that helps them to relax a lot more for the exercise. Come around here. So starting here, lifting. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Lifting up and then treating while you're lifting. Okay, like I say, focus on one leg maybe the first few sessions and then you can swap to the other leg. What you'll find is by doing it this way, soon as you bring your hands towards your dogs and start touching the shoulder or touching the leg, you will then start getting <laughs> the leg lifted. It's not the best demo in the world, perhaps, but I hope you can see what I'm doing. And gradually as your hand starts coming down the leg, your dog will start presenting that paw for you. And then what will start to happen soon after this is when your hand comes out, that your dog will just lift the foot up without you needing to say anything and without needing to actually touch their leg at all. There's a good gear, it's very nice. You can still obviously put your paw command into that so your dogs learn how to lift their paw independently. So as they're doing the action, put your command word in. I see paw, good girl, good paw, very nice. And then you can obviously, as I said before, start alternating legs. Cassie paw. Good girl! And you'll find if you, often with dogs, if you use your left hand, you'll get their right paw. If you use your right hand, you'll get their left paw, because it's the body language they're looking at. So at this stage, you're looking at just your dogs starting to give paw when you're taking their foot for them. And then in a few days' time or a couple of weeks' time, you should find that as you put your hand out, you get the paw lifted, and that's at the point where you can say your dog is understanding the give paw. This does progress, and we can progress this to other exercises, um, for example, using a dog's paw to ring a bell or um, play the piano in advance and things like that. But this is the very, very first stage of this exercise. Start with one shoulder, running your hand from the shoulder down the back of the leg towards the paw. Lift it only a small amount off the ground. Don't lift the paw right up high. Treating, praising while you have the paw in your hand. Putting a word to it, so shake hands, give paw, whatever you want to use. And then gradually your dog will start lifting that paw up. <laughs> Thank you. Before you actually get to touching their leg. Okay, so that's your give paw.